In this video, we're going to look at doing a one-way ANOVA in Stata. If you'd like to follow along, the link to the data set that I'm using here is down in the show notes, so you can do that. What we'll be using as our outcome variable here that we'll be comparing the means of is sum scale is actually the, the sum of these 20 fictional Likert type items. And we'll be comparing across the racial groups, which is three groups. And again, it's it's fictional. They're randomly you know, assigned, but we'll be using that here as our example. So um, there's two different commands that can be used to do a one-way ANOVA. You can either use the one-way command, which only does one-way ANOVA, or you can do the ANOVA command, which is more general and can be used for other um, kinds of ANOVAs. But we're just looking at one way in this particular video. The first thing, of course, you want to do is look at your summary statistics, and we probably want to look at that by groups. So what we're going to do is we're going to use um, this command. We're going to say by race, okay, that's the group we're going to compare across sort, and then sum, sum scale. So what we're basically telling it to do here is to find summary statistics for the sum skill variable or outcome variable, but we're going to do that by race and, and it needs to sort by race in or internally in order to do that. So we're going to hit enter and you can see we've got means, standard deviations, and so forth. And one of the things that we're looking for here is to make sure there's not a real big difference in variances. You'll see when we actually run the one-way command that it does a test, um, a, a statistical test to see whether there's evidence that these variances are different from each other, that it can be oversensitive and so forth. And one guideline that I think is really helpful is to look to just see whether the standard deviations, whether the lowest one is less than half the biggest one, or the biggest one is more than double the smallest one. In that case, you might have a little bit of a problem with it. But in this case, we don't have any problem. We may also want to look at um, it graphically. We, a box plot is a nice way to do that when I'm comparing um, several groups. And the command I do is just graph box, and then I put my outcome variable, some scale here, and over race. So that command will allow me to um, look at a box plot comparing these three groups. And you see there is a little difference in variability here, which matches the fact that maybe the standard deviation is biggest for that one and smallest for that one to some degree. It also allows you, however, to look to see whether there's any huge deviations from normality. Typically, it would, in one of the um, assumptions is that the um, outcome variable is is distributed normally within each of these three groups. And um, with small samples here, we don't have a whole lot in each of the groups. To do to really do a statistical test of that or look at really closely is challenging. However, you do want to make sure that it's not ex some extreme deviation. And, and you would see an extreme deviation right here in these box plots because you would have extreme skewness or something like that. That's one way to look at it. You can also do histograms by group, or you could um, do look at, you know, more of an, a normal density plot of some kind by group if you wish to look at it a little more closely. Although with smaller groups, it's hard to get um, good results on that, and that's all often the case with a no one-way ANOVA. So I'll go ahead and close that. And what we're going to do now is we'll first do it with the one-way command. And it's simple as typing one-way, type the name of your outcome variable first. Always in Stata, you're going to put whatever is the Y or the dependent outcome variable first. And then we put the independent next. Hit enter, and you'll see that I get the results here really quickly with my sums of squares, mean squares, everything in the table, p-values, and so forth. Down here, you'll see under it is a test for equal variances across groups, which is not statistically significant, but quite low. And again, that can be something that's oversensitive. In other words, you may have statistical significance when the practical significance isn't there. And so you want to be cautious in interpreting the, the results of that test.
We can also do it using the more general ANOVA command, and it looks just the same in terms of um, we put the Y variable first, or the outcome variable, and then our independent variable. Hit enter, and you'll see it's really the same information almost. The table is um, modeled slightly different, and that's because um, it allow you know it allows for flexibility for more complex types of ANOVA, ANOVAs, but if you compare your output table to table, you're going to see that all the same elements are in there for the most part, although it doesn't do this Bartlett test. So there's some advantages in terms of simplicity. You can also, of course, do both of these using the drop downs. If you go to statistics and you go linear models and related, ANOVA and MANOVA, you'll see the one-way option here. And you'll see this is the first one is the more general option. Option. If I click on the one-way option here, it does allow you, if you don't know the code, to do some things that are a little bit more complicated. For example, if you want to just do the one-way separately, the whole analysis of variance separately just for the males and then separately just for the females or something like that, or, or restrict you know, doing to only for the one group, maybe only the females or something like that. You can do that or add sampling weights. And so it allows you to get a little bit um, more information here if you wish to, to include some options. Of course, those are always um, things you can do by typing in the coding itself, but you have to know the coding. So that's something just to be aware of. Um, also be aware of if you come up and you look at the more general option, it has some of the, some things here, but it's a little bit more complicated to look at the table here because it's, there's more complex options. You're just going to pick your dependent here. And as far as model goes, you're really just going to put the name of the um, independent variable here when you're doing a one-way ANOVA. You can see it has this great button examples here. This is wonderful for seeing exactly what to do. We just put in one, in place of A, we just put race because we're just doing one factor. But you can see it shows how to model it for a variety of complex types of uh, variations and, you know, two ways and nested and all kinds of things that you might end up doing.